Whoa! We just had the most expensive vintage football card sale as well as the most expensive soccer card sale ever. Stick around. Hello to all my sports card collectors, investors, all of my collectibles friends. We are one day away from the Super Bowl. I can't wait to watch the Bengals Rams. It's going to be a good time. Are you all football fans? Are you going to be watching? And who are you pulling for? I'm pulling for the Bengals as the Rams have not really been much help for my New Orleans Saints, whether it be the missed call game from a few years back where the Rams luckily got into the Super Bowl where they got smoked by the Patriots, or this season where all they had to do was beat the 49ers. They were up 17-3 to in week 18, last week of the season, and we would have been in the playoffs, but they couldn't do that either. So here we are. Since we're on the topic of football, I saw in the news reported by Darren Ravel on Twitter, I saw this, a Jim Brown rookie card in a PSA 8.5 just set the all-time record for vintage football cards at $360,000 on eBay. This was a buy it now purchase. So it wasn't auction, uh, wasn't any sort of an auction. It was a buy it now. And so for buy it nows, you have to pay when you buy it now. So unless there's some type of a weird return or something, it looks to be legit. And this is a card that does not sell very often in this high of a grade. To give you an idea, just population report, I don't know how many 8.5s are there. I'm not even sure if there's a way to see that on the pop report because it just goes eight to nine to 10. Maybe I'm just not looking at it the right way. If you guys know how to look how many 8.5s there are, I'd be curious to know that in a P in PSA. There are six PSA 9s of this card and zero 10s. So that makes the PSA 9s even that much more valuable. And then the 8.5, of course, this one that sold at $360,000, um, obviously very much wanted. There are about 190, I believe, 198 PSA 8s. So that is a more common card. Still not very many, but definitely more common in a PSA 8. PS, or the 8.5, a lot less common. And then the 9, there is only 6. To give you an idea how, how often these cards sell or don't sell, the last sale of a PSA 9, one of the 6, sold for $358,000 $358,500 in the fall of 2016. So five and a half years ago was the last sale of a PSA 9. So how did the sale happen? Well, I think just being that there's just not that many of these, when they do come up, they're probably going to bring a pretty big number, and that's that's what looks like happened here. Jim Brown, widely considered to be maybe even the best NFL player of all time, depending on who you're talking to. Number one, number two, number three, he's a top three running back of all time in the NFL and his rookie card is a classic vintage card for football card collectors. It's iconic. I think we can, I know that word gets thrown around all the time for all sorts of different things, but I think we can say the Jim Brown 58 Tops rookie card is an iconic vintage football card. It's a biggie. He also had a huge soccer sale recently, actually the largest ever, the largest ever at $1.33 million, the Pele rookie card. And this is a 1958, I can't say the name of the, of the card company, Alifabolagat, Alifabolagat, number 635. This was in a PSA 9, and funny enough, just like the Jim Brown rookie card, six PSA 9s, zero PSA 10. So that's why it's kind of like, how did this get a million plus dollars? They are just not out there, folks. They're just not available. Um, the same exact card sold in a golden auction in November of 2020, so a little over a year ago, for $288,000. And this Pele card was picked up by Rally Road, the fractional share company. So it looks to be that this card will be available to purchase in fractional shares if interested on the Rally Road platform. Not sure exactly when that'll be. I just assume that. I assume that's what's happening if Rally Road purchased the card. Um, but it looks like just on that, on the top end, on the higher end of the sports card market, you still see movement. But again, it's just the fact that there's just none of these available out there. There's just not in, in this type of a grade. In this type of a grade, you know, in, in lower grades, they are more common. I have a Jim Brown PSA 3 that I got back in 2018, end of 2018. 
and that's one of my my long-term holds but in general it's not a super rare card in a lower grade i think there's 3700 or so total jim brown rookie cards that are graded and in a three there's you know five or six hundred and then in a four there's seven hundred and a five there's another seven or eight hundred so they're not widely available but they are fairly available, not mega rare. But yeah, once you start getting to kind of those higher, higher grades, it's kind of in a similar vein as like vintage baseball cards when you're looking at those 50s mantles. You know, if you're looking at lower grades, two, three, four, you know, there you'll find them. But once you start getting into, you know, seven, eight, nine, then and then even 10, sometimes they don't even exist, like in the case of these particular cards. So interesting sales uh, just goes to show that the higher end of the collectibles markets and we see this not even in sport, not just in sports cards, but also in, you know, rare vintage comic books and just vintage collectibles in general all over the place, uh, rare coins, etc. What's your take? Are you a buyer of these? Did you buy these cards? I can say that I did not buy these cards, unfortunately. I wish I could say that I could afford these, but unfortunately, these are way out of my reach, but really, really awesome uh, to see. And it's fun to kind of follow those higher end sales just to see what's going on in these particular markets. But guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments section. Are you ready for the Super Bowl? Are you more excited about the game, the halftime show, or the commercials? Put your answer down below in the comments. The game, halftime show, commercials. I want to hear about it. All right, guys, stay healthy, stay awesome. I will talk to you again later.